Hello you guys and welcome back to my channel. This is Gabby, The Morning Dove. You can find me here on YouTube at Morning Dove or you can find me on Instagram at The Morning Dove. So I just wanna welcome everybody back. I just wanna say hello, big hello. So today we're doing um, a little bit things different. I do have some announce, well one announcement to make anyway. So I am introducing my new product. They are called Chargelets. These are homemade energy charge bracelets that I do hand make myself. So I am going to be advertising them on my Instagram page. So if you'd like to go check that out, you can go to The Morning Dove on Instagram and you can go take a look at what I got for sale over there. They're only $7. So to have only a little piece of peace with you, only for $7, you can't beat it. A little piece of divinity everywhere you go. So these are my chargelets. And I do make them in men's sizes. So they do are, you know, they are bigger. So this is some of my smaller ones. I do have a bit of a smaller wrist. So I do want to announce that. Welcome to the world, Chargelets. Yay! Sorry. So there we are, my Chargelets. If you'd like one, just message me on Instagram and we can get your order set up. So welcome back. Hello, hello, hello. We're starting a new angle. I think I like this one a little better. Um, you know, just get the hand view. So that kind of makes me happy that this is working out for me well. But as you know, we are here for another unboxing of Tamed Wild. We got our box in and this is Take Two. Unfortunately, I did a nice video yesterday and I thought I could retreat to my basement and get nice quietness, but eventually my heat kicked on and it was just a complete mess. So let's do this again. Let's get into it. Tamed Wild, October 2020. And I think I can reopen boxes like again and again and again and still be freaking excited every time i open it it's just this box is just so beautiful like i just can't stand it they just put so much in and it just just warms warms my heart warms my heart so let's get started i'm just gonna move some stuff around here all right so we have our theme of the box which is Beyond the Veil. Get a still frame and you guys can screenshot it. Their, um, their print is always really small, but it's still good. Get a little side by side. So Beyond the Veil is the theme of the box. So this is um, giving, this is a card for the ritual tools. So that's what's inside the box. I will not read this out loud just yet. Maybe I'll go through it at the end. But if you guys wanted to take a screenshot and just read up on that, please feel free. There we are. Sorry, my hand's a little shaky. What am I saying? My hand's always a little shaky. So... This is giving us the history of Samhain. We are slowly, well, I'm sorry, quickly approaching Samhain. So that is the Sabbath for Halloween. Um, so there we are. I love the depiction, it's beautiful. And then it's also giving us um, a detailed inscription and instruction on how to host a dumb supper. A dump supper, I uh, did a little research on it, um, you know, learning about Samhain and all the new um, things that I can do in Samhain. So a dump supper is when you make your ancestors' favorite meal. Um, it could be whatever their favorite meal was. Um, and then you would just, you and your family members or you by yourself, you know, if you want to host, you know, a big gathering, you would just sit there quietly throughout your whole entire meal. So you can uh, show your respects and... Um, you know, invite your ancestors in to have a meal with you. So I think that's pretty awesome. I really don't think it would ever work in my house. I'm 100% Italian and my mom, she cooks at least two to three course meals almost every other night. So imagine just trying to sit through all that food and just be quiet. It would never work out, never. So <laughs> just move on. But I would really love to host a dumb supper one day. That would be really nice. 
So the next thing I see here is a beautiful tarot guidebook. Look at that hand. I definitely get the palmistry feels from it, but it is a tarot guidebook, so that's interesting. And then it's got a beautiful back. Please go visit Tamed Wild. They are awesome. And then we can just open the book a little bit. Let's see what's going on. So it does give us, you know, this is the first page that I opened. I already smacked it open to page 32. And it's giving us um, the definition of the moon card. So that's awesome. I love any extra help that you could get on learning tarot because it's not the easiest. And it does give you some kind of spreads to go along with. So that's perfect. Feels like a very, very nice book. Very smooth, not plasticky at all. Um, very flexible, movable, but it just, just like the other book that they gave in our crystal book, the crystal grid book that they gave us, it just has a lot of great energy in it and you just wanna hold on to it. You wanna pick it up, you wanna read it. It's a good one. And um, I start learning tarot maybe about like five months ago, max I wanna say, and it's not as easy as it sounds. So any extra help or any other books involved is greatly appreciated. So we can leave that right there. It's full shot. And then let's see, we have a satchel. Let's open up the satchel. Tamed wild satchel, it's just a nice cloth material satchel. Let's make sure I'm in the frame here. So we have our hermit amulet, gold plated amulet, which is beautiful. I did a tarot spread on myself maybe about like two weeks ago and I actually pulled the hermit card. So this is very, very relevant to my life right now. Hope you guys can see that. But it is very, very beautiful. Lightweight, but still very sturdy. Love that. Put this guy over here. Boom. Next, we got a sticker. I love this stickers. Look how pretty that is. So it's just a regular sticker. They always give a sticker for every box that they have. So I love this one especially. I love the diamond with the eye in it. I'm sure there is a correct term for this figure or symbol. But please forgive me, I'm not savvy on what it is called. But it is beautiful regardless. So we'll leave that guy right there. Now they do a sneak peek online, so you can definitely see you know, what's coming inside the box before it gets to you. So of course that's what I did. So before um, I see or I, or I show or explain the spread. This is a three card spread that was pulled um, specifically for me. That's what it says in the box. It's a personal read for you. Um, so let's get into my personal read. How about that? So the first one I see here is the three of cups. The Three of Cups is all about celebration. It's all about partying with your loved ones, um, maybe a communion or a wedding or any family gathering or any friend gathering or any time where you're just gonna meet up with the people that you love and have a celebration. You see how they all have their cups and they're all celebrating. Everybody looks happy, everybody's exciting, everybody's celebrating, Three of Cups. Let's move this over here and we can move this guy right there. Get out of here, fuzz. So three of cups, a celebration. So that's interesting, I wonder. The next cup 
the next cup. <laughs> the next card is the Six of Swords. Six of Swords is all about taking your past lessons and moving forward. You see how this gentleman is carrying this woman on with all of her lessons. It's moving from more disturbed waters and into calmer waters. Taking the lessons that you've learned and using them and learning from them and growing from them. And I did pull this card actually, you know, as well in that tarot spread that I did tell you guys that I did about, about two weeks ago. So that's very exciting. Six of Swords. And last but not least, we have the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups is a water element. So I'm not sure if, um, you know, people out there, they do believe in the cusp um, you know, uh, some specific people in this world, they were, it, or it's said to say that they were born in between two signs. Um, so I do consider myself as somebody who is born on the cusp. So I'm a Gemini Cancer. So Gemini is air and Cancer is water. So if I could intuitively um, describe this spread to you guys, I would say that the Queen of Cups is representing me. And the Queen of Cups represents in general that she loves everything aesthetically pleasing. She loves all of whatever is around her to be aesthetically pleasing, but she's very in her own world, as you see, you know, just looking down, you know, not really paying attention to anything else, but what's going on around her. She's more of a one-on-one -on -one type of lady, so she does like a lot of one-on-one -on -one friendships and communications. She's more of your heart-to-heart type of gal um, but again so she is just always in her own world though she's never really I don't want to say paying attention to everything around her but you know she's just caught up into her own but when it is time for her to you know connect with others she does she does well she's a great mom you know great leader um, queen of cups and like I was talking about with the cusps, I believe that she's representing me. So this is just a reminder for me, I believe, to, you know, make sure that I look around me. Don't always look down, um, you know, just be more conscious of what's going on. Um, maybe I don't need everything to be so aesthetically pleasing for it to work. You don't need everything to be glitter and gold for it to be worth something. As long as you feel like it's worth something, then it's worth something. The six of cups, I'm sorry, this, I keep getting them mixed up. The six of wands, I believe, is representing my past life. Um, I've been through a lot. You know, everybody goes through a lot. So it's just time to take what you've learned and move on from it. So that's the six of swords. I believe the six of swords is reminding me that, yes, it's okay, you know, to feel sad and to feel upset and, you know, to not wallow in your own, um, you know, sorrows, but that it's just time to pick up those sorrows and to pick up those swords and those lessons, get them in that damn boat, and it's time to get out of these rough waters, and it's finally time to start moving into something calmer. Six of swords. We'll do it like this, past, present, and then my future. So my future is a celebration. Hopefully all my hard work will pay off one day soon and we can all celebrate. How about that? So that's what I'm intuitively, intuitively, excuse me, picking up from this read. Um, you know, this is my past, Six of Swords. You know, you've been through it. You've gone through it. You're getting yourself out of those rough waters. You know, you're moving into those nice, calm waters. Even if you do have a support system or you don't have a support system, you are moving forward. You are going into calmer, easier waters. I didn't even realize, but look at the water, ready? 
You see how there's like ripples in it, you know, showing that it's rough. And then what do we see in the ahead water? Nice and calm, no ripples, you know, n nothing like that. No disturbance in the water. So that's very insightful. And I definitely pulled, I believe it was the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups. So the Six of Swords, the Queen of Cups, and I pulled the Hermit card in that tarot spread that I did, you know, two weeks ago. So that's really reassuring. Um, you know, keeps me on the right path here. Sometimes you just need a little bit of reassurance to uh, give you just that little bit of boost. Like, yes, you're doing it, girl. You got this. You're on it. Don't fret my pet. You'll be there. So I see a box, a box. I love the little box. So this actually has the picture that was on the sticker. Maybe you guys can see it better here. Focus camera. Look how beautiful those stickers are. It's just one long sticker. And it goes halfway around the box. So let's open this bad guy. I know it's inside. Again, the sneak peek online, but it's always so exciting to touch things. When your mom told you, hey, don't touch it, don't touch it. What did we do? We touched it. Look at this pendulum. I already do have a pendulum. My best friend in the world gave it to me. Her name is Sam. She bought it for me for my birthday. Hi, baby. And, um, you know, it's an amethyst pendulum. So I am pretty familiar on what the pendulum is. Um, it is a tool of, di of divination, I apologize. And it is uh, based for yes or no questions. So we would uh, program our pendulum by holding it in our hand whichever hand that you feel comfortable with, and you would just lightly let it dangle, and you would ask it yes or no questions. But to program your pendulum, you would ask it questions that you know are true, like, is my desk brown? And whichever way it would go, that would be your yes or no, because you would designate. So let's say I designate right now, my pendulum is going to swing to the right, and that would mean yes. And then if I designate that swinging to the left would be no. So that's how I would program my pendulum, um, and that's how I program my amethyst pendulum. So that's most likely how I will be doing this one as well. But look how beautiful this gold plated pendulum. It honestly just, it's just breathtaking. Who wants to keep this out of their hands? I don't, why even wanna put this down? It's so solid and it's not heavy. You know, it's not lightweight, it's just perfect. Oh, and also about programming your pendulum, I almost forgot. There is a, um, a middle so there is a yes to the right a no to the middle and if you ask your pendulum to be still or to um, you know to cleanse itself or to clean itself it'll just stay in a neutral position it'll just stay right dead center when I ask it I ask it to show me still so if you're asking your pendulum to show me still then hopefully it would just stay still. But if we're asking our pendulum to show me yes, which I would then say that my yes is on the right, we would hopefully start to see it swing from the right. Pendulum, show me no. Guess it doesn't wanna show me no, it's just in there dangling. But I will definitely program this when I have a little bit more time. So let's just move on. Beautiful gold pendulum. Pendulum, I'm sorry. So let's do like that and we can put our sticker right here. We're just moving everything around as we go. Beautiful. And if that wasn't gorgeous enough, look at what they gave us. A nice big selenite wand look how big that is I love that it's not so much chunky but it is still thick you know you can definitely still see it is about like two maybe three inches in width 
and uh, I would say about five inches in length, maybe six or seven. I'm not a mathematician, but it's beautiful. I love me some selenite. So that is actually how I charge my charge lip bracelets that I just, um, after I'm done making them, I'll just sit my selenite on it and I'll just put my bracelets right on top and they can cleanse. Please be careful with selenite, you guys. Um, as you see, it does shred. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but there's a shiny piece on my finger. So it does shred. You never, ever, ever want to get selenite wet. Um, it will disintegrate. Even if it doesn't happen right away, it will definitely happen over time. So I definitely love this. Just holding it. I'm just like, I don't want to put this down. I can hold my selenite for hours. But this is a selenite one. Tame Wild, they always have a theme in their boxes. So um, while I was doing the sneak peek online, it was explaining that the selenite wand is used to casting your circle. So you could do the ritual that is prepared in the box. And I will just, I'll get a little bit into it later once we finish, which is shortly. So I'll just leave that right there. And then we got the best freaking tea on the planet. I love this tea so much. Tamed Wild, I don't know how you do it, but I gotta learn how you get this tea like this together. Just reading the ingredients is not enough because you can go find all these ingredients and you can slap them all together and it still wouldn't be like this. And my sister even went out and tried to uh, purchase a couple of teas that she thought would be in uh, the same fragrance, taste, all that jazz. But we have our Full Moon Artisan Tea and it is so delicious it was given to us in the september box i believe if it was in the september then it was the month before but regardless whatever month it came in i killed it it was completely gone in maybe like three days my sister had a cup i had like three cups and that was the end of the package um it is so good it is so so good and here is the back you can see a little bit on the back Hopefully you can see it. Let me flip it. There we go. That's a little better. So it's got black tea in it and it's got fruit in it. Let me see. Let me shake it a little bit. Because it does have other pieces in there. See? So full moon artisan herbal tea contains black tea, orange peel, cinnamon chips, apple spices, fruit petals, natural fruit, and spice flavoring. Every tame wild tea has a saying or a quote at the bottom here, and I always botch it up, but this one sounds to be pretty easy, so, and I like this one a lot. Three things cannot be hidden. The sun, the moon, and the truth. And that is said by Buddha. If you guys are looking for a delicious full moon tea, go to tamewild.com and go get this full moon artisan tea. It is to die for. I love it. All right. And then last, and unfortunately that is the end of the box, but this is another big one. Like, I don't even know. What do you want to claim as being like the crown jewel of the box? Like, it's either the selenite or this pendulum. The tea is freaking amazing. The tarot spread is on point. Like, who doesn't love a new amulet? And you get to learn how to read your tarot cards. Um, hosting a dump supper. The rich everything. It's just amazing. I love Tame Broiled. So we have a divination cloth. And once I get this bad mama jamma open, we can see it. So I'm just going to cover up everything just for a moment, just so that you guys can see the whole thing. Look how beautiful. Uh, this just makes me so excited. Tame Wild is the bomb, man. Every box that I've gotten, it, it's been coming with an altar cloth or a divination cloth or something. But this is, you could also use this for your pendulum. Um, so after you've programmed your pendulum, you can sit here and, you know, use it and let it, for the yes and the no. So you can help yourself uh, program it if you want here. No is on this side, look, no. So that is freaking awesome. And it's like a velour, 
of Allure Texture, so it's very, very soft, and I love that it's got this big wheel on it. I'll be quite honest, I'm not quite too sure what the wheel is for. It does have the entire alphabet on it, and then numbers one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then we go to zero. So I'm not sure you know, if that's supposed to represent one or we're going right back to the beginning. But then we also have the alphabet going along here. So I am gonna take an educated guess at it and assume that if we were to, you know, ask it multiple questions or, you know, try to ask it for us to, for a message, I'm sure maybe the pendulum would swing over it and, you know, land on whatever spirit is guiding us to learn or um, receive the message. And also, I love that it just has rune symbols all over it. Ruin, runes, however you'd like to pronounce it. I love that it has the symbols all over it, all around. I'm not too familiar with runes yet, so I'm not quite too sure what all the symbols mean, unfortunately. But they are a great thing to learn. I have learned. So soon, soon. I'll be getting into the runes soon. There's just so much information that you could retain and you can learn. And I'm just, I got my, my learning cap in like four different areas. And I'm just like, I don't know what else to learn at the moment. It's just a lot all at once. And I love it. I'm a Gemini. We love to keep things funky. We love to move on to the, you know, most exciting thing. You know, once we've retained all the information on one thing, hopping right on over to the next best thing. get it situated so you guys can take a full look at this beautiful box i am in love yes 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 and maybe we'll do like that Awesome. Yeah. Get it nice and charged and cleansed here. I love it. Thank you so much, you guys. Thank you so much for participating. Thank you for watching and tuning in. This is Gabby. You can find me here on YouTube at The Morning Dove. I hope everybody's having a good day. Blessed be, my pretties. Bye.